Hey Sassy Squad, it's been so long since I filmed a video in this spot, like forever, I can't even remember the last time. Um, and as you could hear from my voice, I am sick, I do have a cold, but I'm getting over, it's like a summer cold, it's also from stress because I have been studying for my finals and regions, so try to bear with my voice. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a uh, May Favorites 2016 and I really hope you guys like it. If you do, anytime throughout, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. And if you're new here, then hi, I'm Sasha. I hope you stick around and become part of the Sassy Squad family. And I upload videos every weekend and you'll just be notified whenever I upload a new video. So please stay subscribed and subscribe. Um, and put down in the comments below what you guys want to see next. And without further ado, let's get right into my May favorites. But what I have been loving in the month of May, it's a ton of makeup products. It's mostly makeup. And there's only one thing that is not makeup related. So let's just hop into the makeup section. So... The first thing I have for makeup is the Tartelette in Bloom uh, palette and the packaging is so, 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 so pretty. Um, and I gave this to my friend as a birthday present for a Sweet 16 and if you're watching this then I hope you really like it and it's, she says that she agrees that the packaging is beautiful and the colors in here are so amazing. Like, I mean, just look at these. These are so pretty. Um, and there's, the names are Charmer, Jet Setter, Rocker, Smoke, 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 <laughs> Smoke Show, Flower Child, Smarty Pants, Firecracker, Activist, Funny Girl, Sweetheart, Rebel, and Leader. Firecracker, it looks like... This, I don't know if I put that much up, but maybe, like, it looks like that. It's like a brownish gold color, um, like a copper color. Let me just get the access off. Um, so yeah, it looks like this, and I am in love with it. I use it every day. It's my everyday makeup. I use it for school, for everything. Um, if you guys want an updated makeup, uh yeah an everyday makeup routine then comment down below and I'll be very happy to do it for you guys um the next makeup favorite that I've been loving is the glow cream kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills oh there's makeup on it you see I, my my palettes get dirty because I drop it and I'm clumsy sometimes but the packaging looks like this and it just says on the back it's hard candy Mimosa, Starburst, and Crushed Pearl. Crushed Pearl is the highlighter. Starburst is the blush. Mimosa is like the um, the lighter bronzing color. And Hard Candy is the darker bronzing color. But they're all uh, shimmery. And they look like this. I don't know. Maybe the lighting is like making it look not like the real colors. But it just looks like this. And it's very, very pretty. I use the highlighting color all the time. Like, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to put it, like, right here on my hand. And see, it's... I don't know if you could see it. Uh, let me try putting it on my cheek. Maybe you can see it better. Can you see it better? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see an everyday makeup tutorial then comment down below. Uh, the next makeup favorite I've been loving is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay and the packaging. Beautiful, I know. Um, yeah, I really love it. And you guys have seen the Naked 3 palette, I believe. But it just looks like this. These are the colors. Uh, it's kind of hard to show, but let me just like go through it. So those are the colors and 
the brushes in there. As you can see, I use a different kind of brush because I don't really like the brush it comes with. I don't know why. I just don't like that brush. So, yeah, that's another makeup favorite that I've been loving. And then after that comes the Rose Self uh, Lip Balm. And it's I, this was in a uh, another favorite of mine. It's good for my knees. Just like any place that is dry like any place on my skin that's dry I could put it on but it's so good and as you could see if I could open it I have used a lot of it so yeah this was definitely my uh, other favorites video but uh the next makeup favorite I've been loving is uh my favorite makeup that I've been loving is the Hula Benefit bronzer and I am almost done with it. I'm definitely going to get it again, but you could see in that I'm almost done with it. Uh, I, it's amazing. I've been using it for a while by now. Um, and then I've been loving the NYX The Curve Eyeliner, and I'm still in love with it. I have it on right now. It's the best thing that has happened in, like, eyeliner, in the eyeliner world for me. So... Yeah, sorry if you could, can't really hear what I'm pronouncing, but, like, it's hard for me because I'm a little stuffed up still. But, yeah. Someone coming? No. It's just in my head. I, I hear things. I think I'm paranoid, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing I've been loving. So, let me just... Here it is. Okay. So, the next thing I've been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Be I can't talk. I, I just can't. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in medium brown. And it's this brow pencil. It's double-sided. So, this is like the uh, pencil part. And this is the comb for my eyebrows. And I use it every day. It works... And I use it every day. It works so well. It's I do it so quick. And it I like it better than a gel because a gel has to be like really, really careful. But this gives it like natural. Like you see, it, it's very natural and I like it. Uh, the next thing I've been loving is the Dandelion Shy Beam. And it gives me such a great glow. And it's, it's perfect. And I use this. And then on top of that, I use the uh, Glow Kit by Anastasia and it works perfect together. Um, I like put it on my chin, my cubist bow, uh, the tip of my nose and a little bit like up here. I put it here, I put it here and I put it here and I put it in my tear duct and under my brow and I get a perfect highlight. So then the next thing I've been loving is the, let's get it, um, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I'm in the color Pearl, and it looks like that. I thought, oh my god, it looks yellow on camera. Why does it look yellow? It's like a, it's like white, but it's like a pearly white. But I love the packaging. It's so chic, and it reminds me of, like, Chanel, um, and it's so cool. It has, like, the pumper. I love those types of foundations, and it. I have it on right now and it, I love it. It's like not too heavy and it gives full coverage and I absolutely adore it. And I use it with this black uh, beauty blender and I love it. Uh, I know I'm saying I love it so much but I do like I really do. I love everything. Uh, then the next thing I have been loving is the Chanel, um, the Chanel powder. And I don't know what color I'm in. Uh, probably in the lightest color. Um, yeah, I'm in the lightest color. Beige, 10. Number 10. And I know it's dirty, but I don't use the uh, sponge that comes with it. I use a different one, but I, I love it so much. It's perfect, and I love Chanel. Their products are so great and I have the Chanel cream and everything. I, Chanel's like Too Faced and Chanel are my favorite makeup brands. I love it. Um, and I also like Anastasia but 
Too Faced and Chanel, hands down, my favorite. Um, and I don't think any other company could beat that, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just gonna keep on trying makeup. So the next thing I have been loving is obviously Too Faced. It is the Better Than Sex Mascara, and I don't know why I stopped using this. I like stop and then go back to it and then stop, and I stopped for a while and I went back to it. I'm like, why do I keep doing that? It's obviously the best. It looks like very, very natural false eyelashes, and it's so perfect. I mean, it gets clumpy, but I use a Q-tip to clean it off, and, like, it's it's perfect. Like, look at that brush. Look at it. And remember back in those days, like, when we used to do that? But it's... I have no words for it. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think I just said why I stopped using it, because it got clumpy, but... Comment down below if there's like any way to make it like not that clumpy anymore besides for using Q-tips or if Q-tips are the only way then I'll just keep using Q-tips but if you guys have any tips for me then I would love to hear what you guys do to unclump your mascaras because I need to know um, desperately. <laughs> uh, so the next thing I've been loving and is a life changing thing for me um, is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I use this before I put on my makeup and it saves the whole day and it doesn't crease or anything and it's it's just like I don't know I don't know what's in it does it say the ingredients uh I don't I can't find the ingredients is it no doesn't say just as the instructions but it doesn't have the ingredients. It, oh, it says it's alcohol-free and oil-free, but uh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's primer water, so maybe there's something in it that makes it stay like a long time, but I don't know. I'll have to look into it, but um, I've been loving is the, is this uh, Tarte double-sided brush. I use this for like here, here on my forehead and my jawline and then I use the one for the nose contour and like like the yeah the nose contour here and I love it. I like looked on the Tarte website and I'm like I don't know if this is gonna work but I have to try it and I'm so glad I bought it and tried it. But I do use the Victoria's Secret um, Rollerball perfume in forever sexy and it smells so sophisticated and it's also like kind of sweet at the same time it's so good it only just got this is probably going to be in my june favorites but it's the lumi um case and this is what happens i turn it on and it's like like that it lights up and i could take a perfect selfie with it and it's the, the inventions that people come up with for cases are amazing. Like, I don't know how they think of it, but this was a great invention. Like, the button is on the back. Last thing I have been loving is my Starbucks on the go water. And I take this to school, and I have ice water, and my friend was like, I like your ice water. I was like, thank you. Um, but yeah, I... It is an extra step in the morning before I go to school, but it's totally worth it and it makes me motivated to drink extra water because water is great for you and your skin. I've been loving in the month of May 2016 and it is June now, so happy June to everyone. Um, and I'm so sorry of how my voice sounds. I know it's terrible. I don't like how it sounds either. Um, I am getting over it. So, yeah, and I am really, really sorry for not filming for a while. I miss, like, the whole setup and how I film and talk to the camera and you guys. Like, it's just, like, it's my happy place, and I really love it. And I know I'm rambling right now, and I'm really cheesy right now, but it's true. I love it so, so much, and you guys mean so much to me. I, uh, I cannot speak. Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> And make sure to follow my Instagram and every all my social media is linked down below. And make sure to follow my vlog channel and that is linked down below also. Um, and yeah, 
<laughs> so I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!